Hi, welcome back to Tom's Life. Today we are making school cake. So the ingredients you need is self-raising flour, margarine, caster sugar, eggs, hundreds and thousands, and icing sugar. So first step, I'm going to weigh out all the ingredients. I'm going to start off with the margarine. So first step, we're going to weigh out 200 grams of margarine. I'm using my talking scales. So you want to take some off out of your packet and place it in your scales. It is 74 grams. So you want to add to get to 200 grams. It is 74 grams. It is 125 grams. It is 197 grams. That will do. Once you've got 200 grams of margarine, you're going to get the big mixing bowl and you're going to place it all in. Then you do the same with your caster sugar. So next up, you want to weigh out 200 grams of caster sugar. I'm using my talking scales. Just take a little bit out so you get the 200 grams. It is 230 grams. It is 206 grams. It is 186 grams. It is 190. That will do. Once you've got 200 grams of custard sugar, you're going to place it in with your margarine. Then you'll cream them in a minute. But you'll weigh out your self raising flour. So next up, you want to weigh out 200 grams of self raising flour. I'm using my talking scales. So you just want to tap it off and place it in. So you get the 200 grams. It is 45 grams. It is 69 grams. It is one. So just keep adding till you get the 200. It is 150 grams. It is 200 grams. Spot on. So once you've got 200 grams, you're going to place that on the side and you'll place that in when you have cream your butter and sugar. So you're going to crack your four eggs next. You'll do that in a minute. You're going to crack four eggs. So you're first going to give it a little bit of a crack. And then you want to break it down and make up. Catching the shell. So I show you again. So you give it a little crack. You break it down and make up. Let it drop in and catch the shell and then you're just doing your other two eggs and then you will give it a good whisk now you want to start giving this a good whisk using your fork so you give it so it all 
pull your yolks break down you do this for a minute or two just with your wet ingredients your raw egg just do it for a minute or two so next step we're going to start creaming our margarine and sugar so what you want to do is you want to break it with the back of your wooden spoon and you just want to stay this for a few minutes till you see all your sugar and margarine bind in together we'll take a few minutes so you just give it a good cream and using a wooden spoon but you could also use a lucky whisk if you like to do it that way you just you just give it a good beat three to five minutes And then you just keep tapping it off your wooden spoon. Might get a little bit messy on your fingers, so don't worry about that. And you just keep creaming them. So what you want to do now is you want to start slowly adding in your flour and eggs. So you add in half of your flour and then half of your eggs into your, your margarine and sugar. And you pour some egg in. And then what you do is you give it a little bit of a stir and then you keep adding in your flour and eggs bit by bit. So what I'm doing is adding the rest of my egg like that after when I've given it a stir and also with the flour. And then what we want to do now is we want to stir all this in well, but we want we don't want to overdo it. So it all comes nicely together. We'll take a minute or two. Just give it a little tap on your wooden spoon, so it so it comes off the off the spoon. So you're just getting all the way round the bowl. This is like school cake. Everyone used to have it in school. It's a nice little treat through the week. And then you can sprinkle your own decorations on top. I'll show you that when we get to that stage. But like I'm just showing you here, you're just carefully stirring in your flour and egg. And then you just keep tapping it so it comes off the wooden spoon. So next step, you want to preheat your oven. Using my bump on to tell me which one is the oven. And you want to set this at 180 degrees. So I have set that at 180 degrees. Let that just preheat for a few minutes. As you can see, I've got a little a little tray and I put some parchment paper on the bottom what you want to do next after you put your parchment paper on your tray you want to get all your mixture out using a spatula and what you do is you place it in the middle and then you will with the back of the spatula you spread it out into an even layer and then you want to get round the sides of your bowl so this is our skew cake like I said before oh 
what you want to do now you've placed it on the middle, you want to use the back of your spatula and just spread it out all the way to the edges and have a nice smooth layer. Just keep turning it around. You want to get near to the edges as possible. And you want it all in a nice thin layer. So it smooths it out like that. So you haven't got a so what you've got here is you've got a nice smooth layer of your, your school sponge. And then what you do is you place it in the oven to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. So it goes nice and golden brown. Then you'll let it cool while you make your icing. And then you'll sprinkle and then you'll cover your icing on top of your school cake and sprinkle with loads of hundreds and thousands. So what you want to do with your school cake? You now want to place it in the oven to cook. So you place it on the on the top of your shelf. You close the door. You let that cook for 10 to 15 minutes, but you keep an eye on it. And then and then when it's cool, when you take it out and let it cool, you will start doing your icing. So next step you want to make your icing icing. So you want to place all your icing in your sieve. And then what you want to do is you want to raise it from a height and you just want to shake it in. So it all drops in. And then you slowly add some water to let it thicken. So you just keep tapping it from a height. And then you're pushing through the ice, the pieces of ice and powder. If they don't go through. Now you want to slowly add a few splashes of water into your icing. And with your spoon you want to start stirring this. Give it a good stir. So you just add a little bit more water if you need to to make it icing. Then we place it on the cake. So you now want to pour your icing from a height all over. Just like that. With a spoon, you just you just spooning it around so it soaks into the cake. Now you're just going to sprinkle some hundreds and thousands all over it. Make it nice and all covered with loads of hundreds and thousands like, like that. When you think there's enough on there, you can, when you think it uh, looks all right for you, you can do two things. You can eat it straight away, or you can, or when you want it, you can serve it with some custard or cream. So this is how you make my school cake. I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to keep hitting the like button. 
share and subscribe and thank you.